Hello everybody, uh, Dave here for the next installment of Dave Gets Wood where I have just found out that I'm not a good, as good at cleaning wood as I thought I was because if I rub my hands over the legs I'm covered in dust which should have come off when I cleaned these hmm. but what it has meant is because I've not got my mask on Kicked up dust, um, so I need to get my mask on. Right, our aim for today. <sighs> I won't say my aim. My goal for today is to try and get the legs um, finished, stripped, as in any streaks gone, any. Finish left on there, gone. Now, I've got two of the legs where they've got fairly prominent streaks, you can, we can see them, and two where there's very minimal. Um, so, I'm going to work on the two that need a bit more to begin with, and what I'm going to do is, because it's the only thing I really can do, is very carefully apply the stripper and try and make sure that it doesn't drip down the sides uh, and then I need to leave it and this is the key part excuse me I do need to leave it for a good 10 minutes then apply a little bit more again without it running down the sides um, so that is pretty much what I'm going to have to do. So we might as well make a start with that. I need to get myself set up a little bit. But here are our two legs. Now this one's got a couple of fairly big streaks here, and a couple up at the top, and this one, about four or five there, and there's more on this side, and that one's got more on that side as well. But I'm only going to focus on this surface that surface until it's done and then we can move on because uh, there's not much point moving on until we're done uh, now I'm gonna go with when it comes to like removing uh, what's on there I'm gonna use wire wool um, I'm still gonna use the nitro mauls um, but yeah, I'm not going to use the scraper, I'll use the wire wool. Uh, but, as I said, sort of the key to this bit is I need to leave the chemical to do its work um, without, oh, excuse me, dripping shit all over the place. So, got an old rag for mopping up. Uh, got my wire wall nearby. Now, uh, let me dish over this side. Otherwise, I'm going to make a mess with my left handed brush in. Now, I don't want to be applying too much chemical here uh, to try and reduce the amount of waste and streakage. Uh, so I am going to go for a smaller brush, uh, half the size of what I was going for previously, just so that I can uh, be a little more controlled with it. Uh, so like I say, what we don't want to do is get streaks. So if I can do this without it going over the edge, then cracking. Uh, that is the idea. Uh, now what I may have to do while I'm waiting on this is if it starts drying out I'm going to need to just keep applying a bit. Now given the time that this should take in a way it would be a little bit pointless to video that whole process because we're basically going to be sat here doing fuck all for 20 minutes. Uh, and as much as I like a waffle, I ain't really got a 
quite much to talk about today. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure that we're not dripping boot sides. And then what we can do is start applying on the next one. Now, I could attempt doing all four at the same time, but I really don't want to. Because I want to be able to really focus on what I'm doing and complete it. I've got to, the objective is to remove these streaks. Well, not necessarily remove the streaks. Clean up the rest of the surface to match the streaks. Because the streaks have gone through more finish than the rest of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do as I'm applying this now, we'll give it a few moments and we'll see if it dries up. And then basically what I'm going to do is, and I'll do this off camera, uh, just to save the, you and the footage. Uh, I'm going to need to sort of sit here, to, um, making sure it doesn't dry up for a good 20 minutes or so. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'll do it off camera. Um, just need to give that off. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, this is one of those things where, with the chemical, the longer you leave the chemical, the more work it can do. But if it dries up, then there's basically there's no chemical there. Like this is starting to dry up already, but I can still see that actually. It is working on bringing up um, a bit more of the finish that would appear to have actually not been there. But that's why we're doing this, because if there's a streak, we know that the streak has gone through more of the finish. Okay, so... I am gonna give, give gee, 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 I'm gonna give these uh, as much time as I can, uh, topping up where I go. So we'll be back shortly when it comes to actually scrubbing it all off. Okay, we're back at the room. Right, I'm not sure exactly how long it's been. It's not been that long, um, but we have been. Topping up the, uh, the finish, the finish and topping up the stripper, should I say, I sound wrong. Um, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's ready for uh, a bit of a scrubbing. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll see how, how we're looking. I used to get quite a, a bit of extra stuff off there because it's on the uh, the wire wall, which is good. The question is, have we got rid of streaks? Not completely. Okay. Right. So that would suggest that I do need to leave it a bit longer. So I'll leave that one to to keep going. I mean, I can only just see them, but I can see them. Um, so what I'll do is, and like I say, there's definitely something has come off on the wire wall. So we're definitely taking something off. So we're on the right track. Just need to be a little more patient and continue to let the chemical do its thing. 
So that is exactly what we'll do. So this one over here, which we haven't scrubbed, there's no point scrubbing it yet. We'll just top it up a little bit more as it's as it dries off and continue to make sure that we're not leaving streaks. Not yeah, I'm not leaving drips, new drips. Again, a bit. Okay, so we've had a bit of time. Oh, not a massive amount of time. We've just seen it covered in white fluff. I don't know what's wrong. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this one a bit of a scrub, and it's had quite a bit more time now than the first one. Yeah, so that one having been left and <clears throat> been given a bit more time uh, would definitely appear to have benefited from that. Let's make sure the streaks which the result. Okay, and we can turn that. And we'll give this one, yeah, we can see that, that we've taken some off there. I mean, it is possible that some of what I'm picking up is the sawdust left over or that has settled on these overnight. But at the same time, we are taking a bit more of the finish off, hence the streaks disappearing. over now these two sides now need some juice applying and uh, leaving for a decent amount of time so what we'll do is I'll apply this first coat and then uh, I'll stop the recording I'll sit here be bored while topping up the uh, stripper on it until we're ready to uh, take it off. Oh. Let's go for this one first, I reckon. Give it a streaky wipe. Right, so we'll leave these two work their magic while I'll top it up for a bit and uh, we'll be back soon. Right, we've given these a bit of time. I would give them longer, to be honest. I'm kind of nodding off. <laughs> um, so we'll see how we go. We've given them a bit of a, a bit of a wipe down. Thank you. 
I'm happy with that as well. So, it's coming along. We're getting there. We've still got more to do. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see what the situation is. We've got some more on this side. Got a bit more on that side, so we'll apply it. We'll do the same thing apply it, leave it, top it up, and we'll see how we get on. Sure, we got no drips. Okay. All right, so same process again wait and reapply so I'll spare you the board of boring but right let's carry on carry on nothing really matters <coughs> okay time for the scrubbing uh, we'll see how these <coughs> And one thing I was thinking was, even if the other sides don't really need, or would appear to not really need an extra application, I am actually thinking, you know what, we'll do it anyway, just in case. Because um, at least then, if there is any sawdust left on them, or anything else like that, or any bits that I had missed, then we will be taking it off and uh, giving it a good old clean. Okay, I'll do that. I mean, this is quite a time-consuming process, but it's it's just slow because of waiting. However, the benefits of waiting are not exactly bad. This is the one I'm waiting at top, and I'm up on Saturday, fucking daydreaming, nodding off. I don't really want to go and have a nap while I'm doing this because I know me. I end up sleeping for hours when I don't want to. Okay. Once again, I'm happy with with that. Yeah. So as I said, so for example, this side, I'm not really seeing it, any streaks, but I could just. It maybe it's just the light 
or, or whatever. So, what I'm thinking is, we'll give it an application and perhaps won't have to wait as long. But it's more a case of, I'm doing it to the rest of the sides, so I might as well do it to all of them. And like I say, if there is anything that I've missed, then obviously we'll be picking it up. Uh, now on that one, there are a couple of streaks, so that one will benefit from being left a little bit longer. Now one disadvantage of doing this in multiple small clips is I don't know how many I've done and I don't know sort of to what sort of length of time I've done so I don't know how much memory is available on the phone at the moment but uh, I don't think we're anywhere near capacity you watch as it goes <laughs> your memory is full Now, interesting, it's drying up quite quick, uh, but uh, let's see. What I'm going to do is we'll keep the camera rolling. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, this bit. Uh, because with these not needing as much work, I should be able to scrub it off pretty quickly. Especially on this one. That one, yeah, it needs a few minutes longer. But So that one's only got that side and I'm not really seeing any streaks so that's not going to take much. So let's pull this one in. Not got a lot left in my dish. Did it new? Uh, yeah, so I've got this side to scrub on this one, and then one more side to apply.
I'm wondering if it dries up quicker if there's less for it to do. Well, I could be wrong, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about that on the instructions. All it says is if it dries up, reapply. Ready for a moss scrubbing? That's how much foggy as fuck at the side today. It wasn't this morning at like half six, but now it's very foggy. to the last side on that one. And again, there's, there's not really much that needs taking off on here, so I don't think this one particularly needs leaving for long. We'll give it a few moments as we reapply because it's dry. See, this is already it's already drying up, which is what makes me wonder. That's happened so quick. I wonder if there's nothing really there for it to be having a reaction to, so it's just soaking in. Because that soaked in very, very quickly compared to uh, those first few sides that we were doing where there was a lot to take off still. So again, like that, that's drying up very quickly and this is drying up very quickly as well, already up there. Interesting. And that is our one done. Very interesting. Right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do there is take a little bit of a break, oh, get the video swapped over and uh, 
when we come back we can make a start on giving these a reallocation as I mentioned there's not really loads to do on these ones uh, so hopefully it won't take as long that's probably the most effective on that one oh, shit. And I would say that, that is the most effective on that one, and there's not a lot on there, so yeah, we'll take a break and uh, well, I say take a break, it'll be the next video where we uh, sort out these two. All right, have a good one, see you in the room.